What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Swing Trader channel. This could be you in a couple months from now. I don't want to wear that ever. You can barely even breathe in it, I'm telling you. I'm going to go ahead and put my trusty Mets hat on here, and we're going to be talking about four coronavirus stocks. And for my subscribers out there, if you even care where I've been, you know, I've, I haven't been around in like, I think, two months. Well, I've been doing stuff. And to tell you the truth, some of these stocks that I've traded, I didn't tweet it because... Uh, I, I think I might have a curse. You know, whenever I start tweeting stuff, hey, I might trade this stock, the stock just immediately drops. So that's why I'm kind of cautious about tweeting some of these stocks because I do have a curse. So, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at these four Corona stocks that I just cursed. I just put the swing trader curse on them. But if you're new to my channel and you want to do the opposite of what I do to make some money, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video and let's get right into these swing trades. <laughs> stock we're going to look at here is APT and this stock went parabolic and I got in this stock right around $11.28. So that was right around this area right here. That was uh, the coronavirus was still going on, but it wasn't as big as it, as it is now. So I held it overnight and it ran up pretty good in pre-market. And I still remember this day when the bell rang, this stock was really volatile. It was making huge swings going up and down. And I didn't listen to my all time rule, sell some of your position so that way you can get your profit, but keep a little bit of skin in the game. And I didn't do that. I just, I was in shock that this stock was, had so much movement in it. So I went ahead and I got out of my position, sold at $20. And then what do you know, the thing ran up to $49. I left all that money on the table. It's so, it was so painful seeing that this thing ran up to $49 and how much money I left on the table that I could have gotten. But I stuck to my plan. This stock was very volatile that time and I didn't want to lose my profits. I did, it, it just could have dumped, which it basically did right here. It dumped right back down to $20. So if we're looking at it right now on the 180 day four hour chart, it seems to be hovering on the on the 50 period here and it's coming right back down to it right now and it's going to start to squeeze it looks like but the thing is these stocks they need news to run and if the coronavirus goes away they're just going to go back to where they were you have to be very cautious trading these stocks right now but there is plenty of money to be made on them so if you look at yesterday here there was plenty of profit you could have got you could have got in at 1415 and you could have sold way up here at around 20 dollars five dollars a share yeah that's good so APT, this is what they do. They make masks, basically stuff you can wear for, for any kind of like medical situation or viruses. I know people trying to buy a mask online and, and they're not going to get them until April. Is there a point to even order them if you're not going to get them to April? You might have the virus by then, you know? Speaking of news, if you just type in coronavirus online here in Google, look at this, a big red alert and just, oh, just information about what to do if you catch it or if you feel symptoms. Like this is... This is really serious. My wife was at work and somebody came back from a vacation to Italy and they felt sick and everything. So she had to go to the hospital and everybody was freaking out in the office. Like, oh, does she have coronavirus? You know, they disinfected her whole area and everything. All right, the next stock we're going to be looking at is NVAX, N-V-A-X. And this is another stock that I traded and I could have made a lot more money, but I only ended up making like a little tiny portion of my money because I had this in my Robinhood account. And of course, everybody knows what happened to Robinhood. The darn thing went haywire and you couldn't sell your position. You couldn't buy your position. You couldn't even barely even look at anything. So I was trying to sell my position up here and then it just dumped. It started dumping hard and I couldn't get out of it because I couldn't sell. I was like, what the heck's going on with Robinhood? I can't sell my position. I'm, I'm going to end up being red in this if I can't sell it. Well, eventually I got it to sell and I made a little bit of profit, barely nothing. Why is this so painful? But NVAX had a really good day here today. You can see it had a little small bull flag right here and it popped off right off of that. From what I saw so far, I mean, there's a whole mess of coronavirus stocks, but this is the only one that I've seen today that actually ran up pretty good. That's the key. You just got to find the right one. So NVAX, uh, Novavax is a company named Vaccines. They're working on a cure right now for this coronavirus. So we'll see how that goes with that. The scary thing is we might not even find a cure for it. I mean, we haven't found a cure for the common cold, have we? All right, the next coronavirus stock we're looking at is Codex, C-O-D-X. Look at this run up all the way from, was it $3.32? It basically just like APT and went all the way up to 26. This one's starting to look like it's starting to correct itself right now but we got this 50 period right here so it might get a little bit of a bounce off of that today if you were short on codx you 
you had a pretty good day. It was pretty easy. I'm going to say it's, it's never easy. What am I talking about? I just want to want to hold that position, not overnight. No way in hell. So what CODX does, co-diagnostics, they're trying to find a detection thing to see uh, so they can detect it. If somebody has coronavirus, they want to, they can test it on them. Next stock that we're looking at here is Lake L-A-K-E. And th all these stocks are kind of looking like the same. It kind of looks like a pump and dump. But like I was saying earlier, that's why you really don't want to hold these overnight because it, it'd be nervous holding them overnight because they make serious, serious moves. This thing could swing three, four dollars in either direction. And who knows? It's like all about if there's news, if it's getting bad. And if the coronavirus is getting bad, it's not good for you anyways. But you're making money, but you might get the coronavirus. Right now, everybody is following these stocks. That's why they're being pumped really hard. Even if the market is going down, these stocks can still run. The main thing is you need confirmation. If you're going long on this, you need confirmation that it's going to make a move. So just to be very, very cautious. So this is what Lake does right here. Do I, I mean, do I need to say anything? That's what they do. They, they, they make these suits. And if this coronavirus gets even worse, we, we might all have to be wearing this suit right here. So those are my four coronavirus stocks that I'm going to be watching. And I mean, it could change at any moment. It, you know, I just, if you looked at the list, there's a whole mess of these stocks and any one of them could be running up. So you got to keep your eye on pretty much all of them. If you can, if you have a scanner, you have to listen to the scanner, but these are the main ones that I'm looking at. I really like APT. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on that one. CLDX had a really bad day today. So we might see a bounce on that one coming up pretty soon. But like I said, you need confirmation on these stocks. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And guys, stay safe out there. Use hand sanitizer. Don't let anybody spit on you.